Hi everybody, and welcome to Survival Dads. So to stop myself from going absolutely stir crazy in this lockdown, I decided to take a look at my kit and see how I can improve it and make it more suitable to the environment that I spend my time in. So one thing I'm always like to play with is survival kits. So kind of all different shapes and sizes, obviously. Uh, but this is something which I put together, which I think will help me out in a really day-to-day -day emergency out in the wilds or something more serious. So it could be that my bootlaces have broken um, or I, I don't know, uh, forget my uh, lighter so I can't get a brew going. Or it could be that I've discovered a hiker, a fellow hiker that's fallen ill on the trail, perhaps have hurt themselves. So it gives me something to do to keep them warm, keep sheltered and, you know, obviously the more mundane things as well. So without further ado, I'll tell you um, what I've got going on in this kit. So first up is going to be a Swiss Army knife. So depending on what I'm doing, um, it'll either be a lock-in version like this, or it'll be a non-lock-in version. Basically depends where I am. But included with it, I will have a tortoise gear uh, fire ant, which is a little mini ferro rod, which is really cool. There'll be a video on that coming soon. And Tinder, but obviously always have a cutting tool. Obviously this has a variety of uses on it and a way of starting a fire. Next up is going to be a Blizzard Compact Trauma Blanket. So this is a really cool um, reflective blanket which can be used to keep someone warm in an emergency, obviously warm and dry. And this thing takes literally no room um, and it's really light as well so this is always having a place in my outdoor kit so it fits in my backpack with no problem at all be a crime not to include that moving on i have this uh roll storage pouch which is a waxed canvas material so it's totally weatherproof perfect for the uk conditions and in it i've got a few extra items so let's take a look no water is getting in there okay so included in here I have a sharpie marker for uh, taking notes and recording what's going on can write on skin or pretty much anything I have this which is a really compact kit from uh, law industries so this has a uh, alcohol swab, uh, fire start in tinder, a reflective patch there, little mini ferro rod and a striker. So you're able to start a fire and there's some cool bits with that. So quite neat and it's totally waterproof as well. I have a bar of plop. This is Swedish chocolate. Thanks Stefan for that. Just a little morale boost, you know, always feel better after a bit of chocolate. I have a survival whistle and some illumination. Always good to have. Attracting attention and seeing what I'm doing. I have a standard disposable lighter if I need to get a fire going. No messing around with that. I have a couple of glow sticks, really useful for signalling um, or for again just some general illumination. And last but by no means least I have some emergency cordage. So I've put this onto a mini spoolet and I've got a decent amount of micro cord there. So shelter, secure and gear, fixing shoelaces, you name it, I've got something to get it sorted. And that's it. So that is a really bare bones kit, but the idea of it is, if it's too bulky, I'm probably not gonna take it. So having this kit fits really nicely in here. I've always got it on me when I go out into the outdoors, be it just a quick photography walk or filming videos or going for a longer hike. 
Any extras you think I should add to this, please let me know in the comments below. Again, like I say, this is a bare bones kit and this is something to supplement what I would normally carry. So thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.